Oscar leaves the room immediately. Uh, there we, there we go. <laughs> uh, can you see it now? I could for a short moment, but now it's blank again. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I guess that's a quick answer on the first game today. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be Captain Hillian today, along with... Face of first major here at your service. And yeah, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where, well, we show off a few games to see if they're good for streaming or not later. 
And uh, yeah, I, ha I had decided to go back a bit to B, because since we go through this alphabetically, to well, try and get Bugs Bunny lost in time to work, but apparently it doesn't want to... It works with OBS, because, well, I can see it. Anyone who might be watching now or later should be able to see it, but Rakir can't see it over Discord yeah. for some reason. Yeah, I can see it OBS itself, but not the game. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's going to call a quick end to this one. I'll, I'll have to figure out if there's a different way to get this game to work then. But currently, what's going on is that it's... B <clears throat> uh, the game doesn't want to work with game capture. So I have I tried the same trick as with Commandos 2, as, as in using desktop uh, capture. Or monitor capture, whatever it was called again. Or display, I think about... <clears throat> And just resizing it to fit, well, in it, <laughs> in our window. Oh, I forgot the background to this. Uh, but yeah, apparently that doesn't want to work. Let, let me now double check. Now can see it. And yeah, the one in the game isn't selected. But when I select it, oh, that's just weird. Okay, well, that is the first game <laughs> immediately off the list. Then uh, typically we. Or actually, is it? Mm, uh, yeah, that, that, that's part of the desktop being shown in, as well there. Let me just turn that off. I'll, yeah, I guess that's an automatic no then, unless something else happens. So let me just close that down. Uh, actually, I, f I started up the wrong timer here. I need a 25 minute timer. <clears throat> but yeah, typically we show a game for about half an hour each to see if they're any good or not. And yeah, sadly, in the first one, immediately, it's a no. So let's move on to the second game. Luckily, I keep some backups installed as well. <clears throat> so this should... There we go. From Techland, running on Chrome Engine 5. Qual of URS... URS? Gunslinger. I still can't Blank. figure out how to specifically say that. <laughs> Blank. Wait, what? Blank. It's white. Okay. Oh. Okay, that what the That's typically when something is Now I can see it. Oh. I can see you moving about. And now and... Nope. Okay. The hell is going on? I haven't updated OBS or anything, so it shouldn't have it screwed with anything there. Uh the game should be running in yeah, it isn't running in full screen mode, and full screen is what typically sets off the yeah white screen on Discord. Um, so that might be a quick end to that one as well. <coughs> I know that this one does work in uh, windowed mode. So if it still runs a white screen, then something else is going on. Yeah, but now I can see you normally. <laughs> this one works. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's something with... Okay, I don't get what's going on then. Uh, yeah, this was this, the next game in the line, but I still want to show off, or try to show off, Gunslinger. So let's exit here quickly. I'm not summoning any timers yet. I'll change the, the background a bit, uh, hide all the icons, uh, put that away. And what if I just do normal monitor capture for Call of Juarez or display capture? I keep messing things up. Okay, that is way oversized again with the stupid... I do absolutely do not get what is going on with that. Let me, let me close that quickly so the people that anyone watching doesn't have to bother with that. Uh, yeah, I, this, is, this is very likely from... <clears throat> This is very likely from OBS just refusing to work... No, not OBS. Ref, OBS re, refusing to work properly with differently sized monitors. Let me copy that, transform, paste it over here to fit it into the box. There we go. Then I start up the Gunslinger again. Doesn't sound like uh, Yvonne want to do streaming and such. And recording, one should probably have uh, two monitors that are the same. Yeah. Uh, also, can you see it now? Nope. 
Okay, is it something with the game screwing around and come on let me... Why is OBS not being selectable? Come on. Right now I can see it with my helmet select. on and it's gone. Okay, so I'm guessing something in the game messes with it or something. And well, might as well remove that and then turn the icons back on because nothing else uses display capture. Uh, is something screwing with my computer or something? Come on, show those icons again. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so that's a first. Two games right at the start that just refuse to work. Okay, well, moving on to the one that already got a preview now then. Move that up a bit for my own comfort with viewing. So I don't have to crane my neck down for it. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> this one is Castlevania Lords of Shadow, the Ultimate Edition to be exact. And, uh, yeah, ba the short version of this is that it is Castlevania if uh, it was God of War. And from what I know, most of the Castlevania fans don't really like it too much, but I, I, I like it. It is interesting. Well, for it was the first one uh, I played. I actually have this game. Okay. So let's see. Uh, continue. Uh, oh yeah, as you can see, I've completed. <laughs> I've completed this game myself as well. No option for a new game. That's a bit of an annoyance. And Vampire what? War game. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. Difficulty, vibration. Hmm. Th that's kind of weird. Yeah, typically you have the options for new game and such. I could probably try to delete the save file or something. But uh, yeah, let's still give this game a showcase because I still like it, and I I wouldn't mind streaming it sometime. Same here. Okay, the seeds village. A storm is coming. Mankind faces ruin, ruin, and despair. The world is changing, okay. yet hope remains in the I hearts of people. I just lost audio, we go which means that the Bluetooth lives, never screwed up. The forces that can change our destinies forever. We are oblivious, turn it off and ignorant on. like sheep to the sheep water. This night, in the year of our Lord 1047, marks the beginning of our journey together. A journey into darkness, into madness. I watch him from the shadows. Is he the one? He has come far already, but he will be tested. Tested to the very limits of human endurance and beyond. This night he rides looking for the old gods, armed with an amulet that has led him here. Tonight he will begin his journey into oblivion. Okay, I, I don't know what, well, I know what happened there, but I don't know why it keeps happening every now and then. It just seems with some games, it does not like my head, Bluetooth headset at all. But, uh, yeah, dude, yeah, it's been a while I did that. That's good start. This, this game is, a, a of course, a very different take on Castlevania, the and it's not kind of the normal timeline. Inevitable. Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. They will kill and die for their kind to dominate. Some call this eternal struggle equilibrium, the balance between light and darkness. <laughs> and yes, that is better for times, times without hope. Men of faith claim that this is a test from God to strengthen our spirit. Perhaps this is true, or perhaps it is simply a pious lie. If it is true, darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind.
half expecting the Assassin's Creed theme to start up with that hood and everything. I don't think there has been one in set in medieval Europe yet. That could be interesting. For which game? Assassin's Creed. Oh, Helian. Where am I? The Hold first on. one. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's more the Middle East, not Europe. Uh, Valhalla is close. Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just brain putting up. Okay, achievement. Uh, <laughs> I have to check what that is. But uh, yeah, as is obvious, <laughs> the combat is very uh, God of War. I, I don't know that, but I, I'm kind of glad that we were still allowed to see the cutscenes and all that. Yeah. Which makes it forgivable for the people uh, not uh, able to take a uh, start a new game. Yeah. It is, it is still an honest deal. And hello there, Cookie. Uh, what happened? <laughs> also, uh, knock knock. Uh, I, I meant more <clears throat> Western Europe, like uh, France, Germany. Uh, actually, there was one in France as well. Uh, okay. Uh, it wouldn't be a God of War like <laughs> without quick time events. Okay. There we go. Uh, it's also disabled the tutorials, it seems. Uh, yeah, I attack with group X. Y is wide attack. B is side weapons, and A is jump. And I can roll with the triggers. Or at least left trigger, right trigger grabs, it seems. Oh. Yep. Ow. Hit the button, come on. Oh, I see what we need to do. We need to change. We need to oop, get it up there again. Yeah, come on, get up there. And when it jumps again, come on. Oh yeah, it's regaining its health. Come on. Okay. What? Wh <laughs> What, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to throw with them? It sure has been a damn while. Okay. Uh, I, I played this with a friend uh, back in Doom School. Okay. And I was mostly uh, one watching. I did try to play it, but I did struggle with this one. Uh, come on, Belmont, throw it or something. Not that. It's it's not it's not giving a tutorial on what the fuck to do with the stick other than just beat on the dog again. Oh wait, is the tutorial turned off, perhaps? And it wasn't showing them at the very least. Let's see. Difficulty is set to low at the moment. Let's see subtitles, controls, uh, da -da -da. secondary. Da -da. Yeah, it it is odd that. Yeah, there is just no option to restart. Let's see. The Great Warp destroyed the Great the Wooden Fence. Is able to make a paper. Yeah, it seems that the tutorials are just done. Like, uh, did you did you at least apologize, Cookie? Yeah, seriously, what do I need to do with this thing? I'm pressing all the freaking buttons. There's very obviously something that needs to be pressed there. I, 
You might want to go apologize then, Cookie. But it, yeah, it's just not showing what button needs to be pressed. <laughs> also, I think I still have items from the previous playthrough or, or something. I definitely have a ton of points. Uh, Okay, I completely forgot whatever this is. <laughs> Maybe it'll do the trick? Oh, uh... Well, there goes the age rating. What about that one? No, I'm kinda worried. Do we... Do we not dare to stream this? Let's see, what the... It's... Skills. Hmm. Yeah, not at least not without a an age rating warning. Like the the streams are already set as uh, for adults or such. Actually, I did I accidentally parry there. Okay. Let's give this one more try, and if it still doesn't work, like, is it going to... I forget if it jumped at us the first time or not. If it jumps, then we need to pick this up. This obviously, it's not going to jump if it sees us holding the damn thing. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I like that at least it is smart enough to not jump when it's obviously going to get impaled. <laughs> Two heads taller. Who are you? I am Gabriel. I have traveled here seeking the guardian of the lake. You are from the Order? They sent you? How do I find them? He... He will find you. In the forest. I have to say that I like Gabriel's design here. Oh yeah. And well, that's his horse dead. A bloody war horse at that. Now, if if you don't know why you got mad, then I, I think that's all the uh, ex yeah, that's all the more reason to apologize, since yeah, you went off on them for apparently no reason. Uh, yeah, this is going to get... This is going to be annoying if we have to select every bloody uh, chapter on the... You know, each time. Hmm. I, I, I do want to really stream this game, but we'll have to find a way to delete the save data then. Yeah, and also... Uh, I guess I can see later if there's any gameplay of this game. On YouTube, though, since hmm. it can be good idea to investigate that we can stream this on Twitch and on YouTube without, you know, issues. Like, I don't think Twitch like the games like this. Actually, uh, yeah. I think Twitch might be more strict about it, even in some ways. Hmm. We'll, we'll leave this one as a as a maybe at the moment, leading to a yes if we can figure out things. But I don't think I don't think Twitch goes that hard on nudity or at least partial nudity, as long as streams are set to well <laughs> have warn warning set. Yeah, uh, it's for well adults only and such. All right. But yeah, we'll definitely need to figure out a way to act. Yeah, at the very least undo the save data so we can start a fresh game without being fully overpowered. <laughs> okay, wait a second, what's that? Oh, I think I left something open 
uh, that was also on the screen you know, on the monitor with OBS. So that might have been why it was giving a white screen. Uh, let, let me start a gunslinger again quickly just to see if it works now without, well, the background interference. Let's see. White screen. White screen. Okay, so it is some. It wasn't that. Okay, that's just plain weird. It, it, the game also completely refuses to be windowed in any shape or uh, or form. Yeah, looks like you might have a bit of a bad batch today, then. Uh, yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, yeah, Cookie. Yeah, uh, we're doing well here as well. Okay, is this one going to work then, or is there really just something screwing around? Let's see. Can you see? Nope. It's okay. screened. Okay, what the other hell is going on? Let's see, VC face uh, uh, is there. Uh, now I can see it. Yeah, but when the game isn't selected, that is. So what the other hell is going on to cause this interference then? At least I can see Some... the... The character's moving, unlike the other yeah, times. Yeah. Again, when the game isn't selected, so the moment I click here... Yeah, that is weird! That is weird. Can I... now? <coughs> uh, nope. Okay, some... Something is going on that should not be going on at all. Because even... Hmm... <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> this was the next game I had lined up, Cats in Time, uh, which is supposed to be a little puzzle. Uh. Mm. Okay, just what the utter fuck is going on with all of this? Is there, is there something hiding here or something that isn't being shown? Let me check the task manager. Let's see, chatty, OBS, task manager, VC, uh, VC face. There should not be anything else open at the moment that should cause interference with OBS. Or at least with Discord and OBS. Let me see. Let me start it up again. Remove that. And, okay, why is... What Why is it doing that? Now it now I'm looking up Discord and now it's showing the uh, the half grey half white screen. Let's see if what if I swap wait and if I click here white screen half white half black. Okay, just what the hell is going on with all of this? Uh, is, is this also an old game? No, this is a new game. This came out last year. Okay, then it's weird for this one to cause issues. This one should not be causing issues. The, the two early ones that were old, I can get understand. But this one? Yeah, but we've had older games that actually do work. Okay. Yeah. But you can you can understand when old games don't work. You can understand that reason. But of a new game, there shouldn't be an issue with them. What the fuck is going on with all of this? It's are you seeing different set? Wait, are you seeing using the XCOM? The X no. Uh, commando setting or something? Mm, no, those aren't active. So that shouldn't have any effect. So why is this being a why is this being an issue? Hmm. Um, we have one game work without issue at least, but I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, I I just don't know what the other fuck is going on with this. It's just OBS and Discord. Let me just uh try this again. It's, why does it show like that? I, I, I just don't get what the utter hell is going on with this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, 
this is strange. Is this some sort of overload or something? Let's see, if I disable that, then everything becomes visible. But if I turn it back on... Wait. Is, it, is, is anything showing now? Nope. I thought it was for a moment, but then it was back to that uh, black and white thing again. Oh, okay, I, I just... I just don't get what the utter hell is going on with Discord OBS now. Let's see. If this can, if this one is going to work, maybe. Actually, let me turn that off. Uh, this one I see. Okay. This one works. Now let me try the previous one again. Now that I've turned off the chat program. Nope. <clears throat> okay, I just... <clears throat> okay, then. Let's try this one for now. Move it up a bit. Uh... Come on, there we go. Okay, any retro fan will likely know this game somewhat. It's Cave Story, or Cave Story Plus to be accurate. Going with all of this bullshit. But yeah, th this cave story is a quite beloved old indie game made by a single person, similar to Iconoclast, I think, actually. So Iconoclast did have some other people working with it, I believe, but most of the work was done by one person. I feel like I heard that mentioned by other YouTubers, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it could be. But, uh, Let's start the story mode. It seems to have deleted my old saves. And... Yeah, let's just go with easy, because e even on this I got my ass kicked too. Yeah, plenty of times, I believe. Okay, here we go, timer. Someone's transmission. Huh. Connecting to network. Resumed height. Standing I am chat. So? Are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in the shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? And yeah, with nothing else, we get put in here. We connect. We control this little guy <laughs> in yellow. Oh, isn't that supposed to be red, or is that a difficulty thing? Maybe. Oh yeah, let's, we can jump around. We have limited air, so let's not go into the water. How do we use these again? Can I just not use them at all? Okay. Life refilled. Oh. oh, it's pressing down. Okay. Uh, let's get moving. So, typically, up is for interacting with things like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we obviously do not want to impale ourselves on spikes. <laughs> Very obviously, this is a Metroidvania, especially with a sound that's almost identical to the one in Metroid with the live capsule there. Okay, we can make the jump if we run. We can slow down a lot by the water. And anything in here? Where is Gunsmith? Who is currently deep asleep. Okay. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Sue! 
answer me. I'm looking for you. Are you asleep or what? What are you so lonely? Okay. Uh, yeah, now we're <laughs> now that we're armed, we can actually well deal with some of the beats you can the creatures over here. Because I can be stupid B. And they drop these little Doritos, which we, we can use to upgrade or level up our weapons. There we go. And if we take damage, our weapons will lose experience. Ooh. It is a rather simple beginning at the moment, but there is more to this game than just running around and shooting stuff. I think I've seen a bit, bit of this game's beginning long, long ago. Lots of breakable. So I think it was, I think it was half watching it while role playing. Okay. Uh, one more, and this gun should level up to level two. Yep. Which means it gets double shot and more range. And there's the level down because the freaking door is haunted. There we go. Didn't restore it, but okay. Come on, Sue. Type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that. that I even ate a cockroach. No, just kidding. Just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. And hello? Give me the key. No way. Okay, yeah, I recognize this. Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I wouldn't betray Sue. Jiroko. The next time that the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but, just hand over the key. <laughs> and we just drop in. It, they just bolt. What? We're not an enemy. I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Not really, including Sue and Seven. But she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came, in into, came into our village. Okay, that's good to hear. Right, yeah, cookie. Uh, well done, Cookie. I'm glad that it went. Uh, but I hope it went well. Okay, we a safe station here since we won't be able to get up to where we were. Okay. <laughs> I think I remember who this Sue is and all, but I won't spoil things, of course. That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. She recently came to Mimiga Village. She fell into the reservoir there. And I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the, in the village. But right? she's a man eager. And the same as the rest of us. And there's some sparklies there, though I don't know if we can get to that without drowning. Oh, it did went well. Glad to hear. Okay, let, let's still give it a try. We did make a save after all. Something shines brightly. Silver locket. <coughs> okay. Now let's get out before we drown. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that's an instant kill. Hello there. Yeah. And off they go. Hand over that key. No. And... <laughs> Here they 
go again. Ah, Jericho. Don't have to don't underestimate me. Oh, there they are. Okay, we have quite a bit of distance and height that we can jump. Okay, she probably has the key to that place then. Hmm. Oh. No, no, it's a different one. <laughs> Jesus scared me. So? Oh. The mini girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Turbo. Mini girl's a real cutie. She might be looking for flying dragons. I wonder if there really is something. That's flying the sky. Okay. And nothing in the sack here. It, but it won't open. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're lost in the, oh there. <laughs> Did we? No, we didn't kill him. Oh, help me, help me. Doctor? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the doctor's such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Miga. At times even killing someone. Yeah, at times even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my other brother. Yeah. Dependent. He picked it up for me. She gave it to me. Just bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. Knock knock. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a Kool Aid Man reference. I will now realize that after so many years, I found you. It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever Harrier. Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery. I found her first. Me too. Go with the doctor. You must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. Alvarog. The rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person. I told you. Uh, not this again. I always have to clean up. I'm the one who found her. Not misery. So, what's up? You want to fight me <laughs> with that little pea shooter? Hey, uh, yes. <laughs> Understood. And Mr. yeah, with the homework, uh, cookie. Good luck. See you later. Next time. And yes, we're fighting a bag or a toaster. Let's not get jumped on there. Probably being a bit more difficult, but yeah. okay, sweet bear hugs just throws it out. Uh could have originally played this game on normal difficulty. And yep. Yeah. I'll remember this. Hmm. Okay, maybe I was wrong. And yeah, that's the first boss gone. And we get some more of these XP Doritos. Not enough to level our gun back up, but oh well. They look more like tiny pyramids, like they bounce around like they were three dimensional. Uh, King will probably want to hear about that. Wherever the hell he went all of a sudden. Yeah, my I mean, need, far. I mean, you need to go to the. Uh, Housed. This is the farm where you grow flowers. I just to protect this farm. So 
Os Mimi and Mimi God, these flowers are a precious source of food. But not the red flowers. I heard that if we eat red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets and will die in an instant. Unfortunately, on this farm, we don't. Unfortunately, on this farm, we don't grow those vile red flowers. Okay. There is a heart container there, but I. Can we get over the water if we jump in there? It slows us down a hell of a lot. <laughs> and also blocks our jump quite a bit. Uh, yeah, let's check out the rest. So this is the assembly hall. Ah, oh, there you are. Arthur's house key. Should be at least one more copy somewhere. Turco, she faints like minutes. I wonder if maybe Jack would know something. Okay, and we have to go find this Jack. Are you Jack? Could be kidnapped. That's terrible. Look for inform King. And he runs off. Okay, I think we were supposed to talk with him earlier. Oh. This is cemetery. And now we're fighting mushrooms. And that. Uh... Okay, a killer toad. Some of the, the boss fights can get really tricky. If memory serves correctly. Yeah. I can imagine things get tricky with this game. Arthur's <coughs> brave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rest the true Amiga hero Arthur. And apparently he hit a <laughs> they hid a spare key of his house here. That's unconventional, I'll say. So you want this? Not sure what you're too. Rico's older brother, Arthur, was our strongest warrior. He was killed by the doctor himself. He wasn't even able to protect Turok. There are two keys to Arthur's house. <coughs> Turko Turok has one of them. The other is inside the Mega Cemetery. Okay, so you could have gotten that from him as well. I learned that. Why, why do he hide the other key to the house in the cemetery? Not a clue. Yeah, these, these are some uh, weird bunnies. Also, it's, it's now the... Uh, I'm not sure if it now is or if it's coming off, but the, the Chinese Lunar New Year. Uh, <clears throat> but apparently now it's or it is, it is now or it's going to be the year of the rabbit. And well, we're rabbits here. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a new little safe station. Let's see, what is all of this? Nothing that our character can figure the hell out, it seems. Text is played on screen. Hello, uh, transportation to headquarters. Yes. Okay. It's a teleporter. Okay, with this we can go to places. Yes. <clears throat> Elephant? Yep. I did not know those and they. Hello, Rob! Hey there. Hello, everybody. How's everybody? Alright, you're right. 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 You're 
this. Okay, now. Is this closer to my mouth? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, welcome to Cave Story Plus. So, what is Cave Story Minus then? Why is this called Game Cave Story Plus? Is it like a bigger one or something? Yep, the original came out in the... I forget if it was 2000s or 2010s. Now we have level 3. I think we're doing even more damage. Okay, so I was wrong about the level 3 levels. It has been a bit since I've played this game, but yeah, this is not the original version of it. Okay, so 3 is the max level. You just get to fill it up again to have a bit more level. Holy! There you are, you monster. You don't scare me. What? You want some of this? Take your best shot. This is gonna end badly. Even my big brother has never beaten me. <laughs> I'm sorry. But well, that was easy. Huh? Who are you? God. Hunt. Yeah. Fucking hell. The lunar year of the killer rabbit. Ah, uh, yeah. The year of the rabbit. Yep. Oh, the dear. Zulu's abode, Zulu's really? Abode. Wait, wait, what? It, yeah, the place is named the Zulu's abode. Hey. This is highly unusual. You're a soldier from the surface, are you not? Where's your blonde pal? Have you lost your memory? <laughs> uh, go. Yeah, that's a bit of a hint as to what is actually going on. And this is how we get up here. And there we go. Another heart flight. Life capsule. It's a heart. It, it is a heart container, basically. Health up by four. Now we have ten health. Nice! I really gotta invest in a scar mic. I'll ask the there. Uh, yeah, we don't want to touch that thing because I'm pretty sure it instantly kills you. Yeah, and uh, to Rome, I would recommend probably a Razor mic or so. Still gonna have a recommendation for this sport though. I'll just... Also, I gotta worry about the price tags and all that. So, uh, yeah. A pay. A decent amount, at least I think it was a fair amount, for these what uh, headset and mic. A table mic even. <laughs> and they would flawlessly so far. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, how are you doing wrong? I'm doing uh, there we go. I'm doing okay. I'm planning on restreaming Killer7 one more time for the just to end the end the week and all end the weekend and all that. Uh, I'll be streaming the Target 3, which is a two-parter, so that just be the entirety of uh, the stream. Okay. Oh, I can't really get any and... closer to the observation room because of the shields. It should be a terminal to remove the shield somehow. Dragon number eight, max stats and stasis normal. Blind Dragon Act number nine, max stasis normal. Sixteen, normal. Fifteen, normal. Fourteen, normal. Fourteen, twelve, eleven, 
Captain, and whatever here. Missile launcher. Oh. It's a powerful weapon, but it has limited ammo. Collect additional ammunition from fallen enemies. And yeah. We can swap weapons with X. And yeah, this thing has 10 shots at the moment. But it goes a lot longer than our Polar Star. And, well, we can upgrade it, of course, by leveling it. Number six, error, egg stasis is abnormal, examined further. Alright. And number one also. It, since it's Sunday in the afternoon, we're doing Showcase Sunday again. So, but the first few games that we tried, for some reason, just would not work. Uh, with OBS, I the wrong button. I was trying to come back with the swap. Yeah, but two of them make sense for the very old games, but one of them, the third one, should have worked. There was a from last year, but it did not well work with the OBS. Yeah, there's something going on with OBS and Discord again that we'll have to figure out. <laughs> well, you know what they say, the first 30 minutes of a stream are always trouble shooting. Yeah. Well, Castlevania, and this one works without issue, so... There must be something with the other games that causes a... Yeah, or something. something. Maybe it, the white screen on Discord when screen sharing is supposed to happen when something is full screen, taking more uh, resources than it should or something. I don't think I'm going to stay. I kind of want to play down and sleep because it's Sunday and everything. So, you guys have fun. I'll try streaming Killer 7 later today. Hope to see you guys there. Have a good night, everybody. See ya. See you, Rob. I thought there was something there, and. <laughs> well, obviously not. And, and yeah, that dead. shows that that thing does instant kill. <clears throat> oh dear. But and you have to the, uh, save. Yeah, we've reached the 25 minutes, anyways. Uh, thoughts on this so far? This one, I could see a stream. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if, when we're ready to retake binary domain. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, see ya. See ya, Roman. Sleep well. You too. Okay, that's at least, well, two games that have been somewhat functional. And now, we're, yeah, now we'll have to tap into the backup games that, I, that I've got installed. It's, well, it's a good thing that I have these installed <clears throat> with every one of these streams. Though I, I don't expect for so many to mess up so much. Yeah, let's see if yeah, this one I feel like work. some of the older games that are for, like physical copies, it might be a good idea to do some testing with. Yeah. What the heck? And yeah, this is the game called Citizens of Earth. Let's start a new game. So Good get morning, some Pumpkin. And also, let's start the timer before I forget. Are you still in bed? I'm coming in. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's gorgeous out. You don't want to waste the day in bed, do you? It's so early, Mom. <sighs> Come back later. Honestly, you can't spend your vacation lying in bed. Well, if I could, I would. And d did you sleep in your brand new suit? I had a late night. It's tough being vice president of the world. You've been in office one day. Oh, if only the voters could see you now, my son, the slouch. 
at least go say hi to your brother. He took the day off to come and see you. You missed breakfast, by the way. Maybe you can stop by the bakery later. But don't spoil your appetite. We're having an early supper tonight. Yeah, you can guess that uh, <laughs> this game is a bit wacky. Yeah, like, what? Hmm. Face Puncher 3D, the greatest movie since sliced bread 3D. What a classic. Hmm. Yeah, same one there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Capitalism at its finest. Oh no. You. I'm not. <laughs> this is a job for my. Capitalism at its finest. Really dirty socks. Capitalism at touch. its finest. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a goofy. Uh, turn-based combat game, if I recall correctly. I've tried this game for a while, but I, I think I burnt myself out on it by going mm -hmm. too long with it. The great creature of me. You still got it, old boy. Hmm? Oh, Mom kept all my old comics. These will go great in my <laughs> vice presidential library one day. And hello. Hey, little bro. Long time no see. Good morning, um, Mr. Vice President. Gee, what do I call you now? Oh, come now. There's no need for formalities. Sir will do just fine. Um... Okay. Hey, I got you a present, sir. I left it downstairs for you. Why, little bro, you aren't trying to bribe me now that I'm in office, are you? No, of course not. It's just a little something for winning the election. <laughs> How did he win in the election, I wonder? Uh, no clue. <laughs> oh, that Dr. Sven's so dreamy. Uh, that's it. Uh, there it is on the table. Uh, also. Hey, we were just about to reveal what Jack's evil twin looks like. Uh, probably just like Jack. I swear you boys are lost without your mother, huh? All right, let's get some fresh air before all my days of our bold and the restless starts. Okay, <laughs> I think there's just a bunch of soap, uh, actual soap titles just mashed together. This calls for a mother's touch. Uh, yeah, we can recruit people to our party. We can even rename them if wanted, but let's just leave them as is. Cha ching You tap. See? How you like it? Pretty nifty, huh? I absolutely love it. What is it, a laptop? I'm confused. It's a tablet. It's like a phone, but bigger. You can do your big, important work on the go now, even at a coffee shop. Ah, now you're speaking my language. What's a world leader got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? I'll take you to Moonbucks. They just opened one across the street. Let's do this. Really? Yep. Uh, the w one thing that is different in this game is that most of the... Uh, or most, if not all, of the characters you can recruit, they have abilities, like, uh, well, the, the brother you can order items with. Yeah. Get some experience from that. Yeah, keeping it in the family, really. Hmm. I wish this was the kind that would sing catchy songs. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, that's a nice little detail. Uh, yeah. Check it out, Ma. My adoring public, here to congratulate me on my meteoric rise to power. Mm, I think you need a new pair of glasses. Actually, um, they don't look too happy. Nonsense! That's envy, you see. 
This is exactly why I got into politics in the first place. Really? We're unadoring public. So glad you're home, Mr. VP. Why, thank you. It's nice to relax after an election. You here for an autograph? The only signing that's going on is my sign and your face! Whoa, my face is my livelihood. Little bro, this is all you. Honey, you have to learn to fight your own battles one day. Hmm? Yeah, let's take a tutorial. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, now listen closely. And All yeah. right, here we go. As you can see, very earthbound-like. And uh, yeah, I, this game has taken heavy inspiration from Earthbound slash Mother series. I'm, I'm just guessing you're stunned for si <laughs> to silence by everything. Uh, I just tried to let this uh, game sink in at the moment. And uh, it's sinking in like a brick through uh, mud. Kinda. I, um, I don't know what to think of this so far. Yeah, and that is why we give these games a, a bit of time each just to see what they are and such. So just to get a quick impression. That's, on the left are action categories, on the right are all the actions in each category. Now let's choose the nag category and use lecture for me <laughs> this round. Special attack that causes defense down. Choose an enemy to target. Great, now your brother has two categories. Let's stick with Roughhouse. Each category has similar actions within it. Healing, damage healing, etc. Wrestle and beat down both deal damage. Depending on the circumstance, you'll want to select different attacks. For now, choose either wrestle or beat down. And each, both of these use up one energy. Let's see. Two to seven uh, weak physical attacks. Walk it off. Oh no, we got it. Now's the time to head to my encourage category. With hug, I can heal someone else and myself as well. Go ahead, select hug. And that we, of course, we can only use on our own, you know, on our own party on errors. Great, let's discuss, discuss energy. This is essential for strong attacks, and just about every action either restores energy or costs energy. So you can spend a few rounds gaining energy and then spend it all to finish off the bad guys. Let's use wrestle or beat down once more. Uh -huh. I've got your back, bro! Uh -huh. Oh no, we gotta hit with an attack down. This lowers our damage output. Status effects like this are temporary, and they get weaker as the duration runs out. As they run out, the color will drain from the item like this. 5 to 4, all the way to 1. That is currently at 1. If you like my lecture attack, I can drop his defense. Yep. Controller disconnected there for a moment. And your brother has two energy saved up now, so we can use dog pile. Doggy pile. <laughs> You'll find doggy pile in the pummel category, sweetie. Really. Now, there we go. Extra strong muscle attack for one target. Impressive! <laughs> and yeah, that dealt a lot more damage. This calls for a celebration. Mother knows best! Okay, new ability at level three. I knew I could do it. Okay, I'd forgotten about the fact that different party members will boost each other whilst when they level. Good job. Combining a strong attack with a defense down, debuff is very effective. If you want to learn more, open your tablet, select talent, and then select mom. Yep. Okay, find out who organized the protest because there's quite a lot more about them going around. Yeah. 
Mr. Vice President, do you have time for an interview? What's on your mind, sir? How's it feel to be home now that you've won the election, sir? It was a hard election, and our opponents did well. I'm just glad I get to finally visit my mother now. How sweet. Keeping in touch with your roots, huh? That always looks good in the polls. The polls are great and all, but I just wanted to drop off my laundry. Three months on the road, this stuff piles up. Oh, I see. So tell me, what's the secret to that fabulous hair and your signature smile? Simple, really. Two handfuls of product and a whole lot of baking soda. Baking soda in your hair? <laughs> really? It's a thing. Mr. Vice President, what's on your mind, sir? That sounds right up my alley. I have a couple stories I'm tracking down first, though. I need to get some pictures of a local man's car that wound up in a lake nearby. And I need pictures for a story about how bright lights might revitalize the dwindling shipping industry. Wow, I didn't realize you were an actual journalist. Those stories sound a little over my head. Trust me, you'll want your face in these pictures. Local flavor kind of stuff. Plus, it'll help me sell the stories to papers. I need to switch my lenses. So why don't you go find the two locations I mentioned? You're a smart man. You'll figure them out. Mm. <laughs> I think you're only half right there. Not sure on the smart part. But, uh, yeah, we can run into these guys for more uh, combat and such. I swear, I don't think some of these protesters have bathed in days. We got these barricades up so this doesn't spread to the rest of town. Sorry, but you can't pass. But I'm the vice president. Well, how do I know you aren't an impersonator? After all, why would you be at a rally against you? Boy, logic like that and I'll make detective in no time. Because they are prostrated in front of his house. Yeah. Also, you. Okay. It's marked off on the map for okay, but, but, but let's head in I here. I thought what I might have seen a bit of this many years ago. It could be. You look like a man who knows where to get a good, strong sarsaparilla. You're in luck, my friend. I own the local soda shop. But to be honest, I think I'll just stay here all day. Uh, this iced special blend is drinking quite well today. <laughs> Guys with beards don't like being disturbed from their coffee. I'll leave him be. I, that's not coffee. This protest is interrupting school. Oh well. Preposterous! Let me see what I can do about this. I don't mind, so long as I got this delicious special blend. Either he's one of those caffeine junkies you hear about, or something weird's going on here. Hey, this guy? Psst. Hey, come here. Huh? Yeah, you! What can I do for you, taxpayer? I don't pay taxes. I also don't drink the coffee. Neither should you. Taxes and coffee are two of my favorite things. They contaminated the coffee. Can't you taste it? Uh, you're not. <laughs> you just told us not to drink it. It's so dark and aromatic. Bold, even. Too bold. I was abducted once, you know. Aliens. They ran tests on me. Back in Uranus. They walk among us. Don't you get it? God. Don't things seem just a little bit off to you? We need proof. It's the only way. Proof and a refill. Lots of refills. Here's what we'll do. You go find proof while I head to the police station. Okay. I'm good at talking, so let me handle that. You can track down evidence. Sound good? Stay strong, brother. Okay, typically the conspiracy folks stay away from the police. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can recruit a lot of characters. Probably guess if they have that icon, you can try to recruit them, but you'll have to do something for them first. La, la, la. Hello? Oh, sorry. My mind was just drifting away from me there. Is something wrong? Not really. Just waiting for my manager to come in. He's never late. But oh well, I'm sure he's fine. Okay. 
is locked, so we can't get in. Hmm. Order a special blend. Try to resist this. Brew. <laughs> Trying to resist this brew is futile. Okay, we what? We've got Borg running out the coffee shop. Huh? So what's up with creepy guy over there? Oh, that guy's harmless, but he doesn't trust anyone. He seems really paranoid about your coffee. Funny story. I swear there was a bag of special blend on the counter last night, but I came in this morning and it was gone. It's like the beans just sprouted legs and walked off. Isn't that strange? Huh? That's mm. concerning. Everyone is raving about your new special blend roast. I'll take a grenade. You mean a grande? Unfortunately, I just ran out of special blend. Hopefully, we'll restock real soon, though. Yeah, uh, how did huh? this dumbass become vice president of the world? And also, who is the full president of the world, then? We could use a perky girl like you. Come join us. I'm flattered, but I can't leave. My manager would kill me if I didn't restock the special blend first. Well, where is this slave driver of a manager? Oh, he's actually the sweetest man in the world, but he hasn't shown up yet to unlock the storage room. Okay. He usually opens the door back there so I can restock the special blend. Well, we'll have to go find that manager then. But, uh, yeah, th this game is quirky, but also charming. And hello. Hey, Pipsqueak, why don't you watch where I'm going? That voice. Do you have any idea who I am? You can't talk to the vice president of the world like that. The vice who? What now? Sounds like a made-up pageant to me. Really? It's called an election. I won, so you have to do what I say. Tough guy, huh? You went at some contest and won, and you think you're better than me. You're just lucky I didn't enter. What was your talent, anyhow? Being short and flabby? <laughs> It wasn't some muscle show-off extravaganza. This is the real world, pal. Politics. Well, if you got what it politics, stop by my gym sometime. We'll see who's the tough guy. Later, bro. Bro? What an absolute oaf. Wait, did he just run over one of the random encounters or roaming encounters? <laughs> Although, I think so. With some pretty impressive golden locks. Okay, who are Something you? weird's going on at Moonbucks. I've never heard of a substance as addictive as this special blend. Something weird. Okay, can't talk with you any further than that. Uh, yeah, you can probably guess why I burned out in part of this game by just playing it for too long at a time. So it gets yeah, I'm bad. What's your business here today? <laughs> yeah, and I always feel burned out by this game already because it's unusual. Like, Do you have something to report? Uh, it, from what I know, it's not a bad game. It's just uh, not for everyone. Yeah. I don't think it clicks well with me. Like, I'm not hating it, just... I don't feel it, so to speak. Okay. How do you know, really... officer? Everything nice and quiet yeah. these days? You read? I was saying it doesn't really... It doesn't capture my interest, so to speak. Yeah. <clears throat> Sir, maybe you didn't notice, but there's a massive protest all around my streets. And I got that old kook in Moonbuck stirring up people with his conspiracies and whatnot. I do like that all of these characters are boys. <laughs> for the most part. A list of home security suggestions. What on earth is a guard rhino? Signs a little excessive. Uh, it does sound excessive. Hello. What? Do you have something to report? I had to lock up your little friend. He was raving about conspiracies and making people uncomfortable. I don't like that in my city. You know, there's a small chance he's on to something. Really? Well, if you can bring me some solid evidence, I'll consider letting him out. I forget what he does, but I 
I do know that on this uh, save that I had earlier, Hello. that he What's was in my team at level today? 20. Do you have something to report? The following suspects are still out there, terrorizing the people. Let's see. Hello, Moody, Foodie, Queasy Bee, Madam Clam, what? Okay, I, I, I don't remember this at all. Can we go in here? Nope, makes sense. But yeah, this go. Oh, hello. Uh, what Good was that luck. about beans sprouting legs? Like that, huh? Uh, yeah. This is basically how most of the game is going to go with this. Most of them missed. There's also little attacks with ease of these attacks, though it jumps away quite quickly. Another after it's victory done. for the VP. Evidence. Okay. Can we look at that? Let's see, I dirty socks. A filthy garment that is more biological weapon than it is clothing, really? And that is all that we have. Except for evidence, which doesn't actually tell what it is and everything. That would be more. But, yeah. Not a bad game again, from what I recall, but it's just not for everyone, and I don't think it'll be much for us to stream. All right, here we go. Yeah, I can't see us streaming this. I got your back, bro. Really missed that. I'm much too old for this. But we're almost done with the timer, so we'll call it after this fight. I'm this guessing. calls for a celebration. Yeah, I may continue with this on my own sometime, but oh, emails. If you feel tired, you should go take a nap in your old room upstairs. I made the bed for you since the last time, and made sure to tuck in the blankets extra tight, just how you like. Hey, but I hope you're enjoying your vacation and remembering to get some sleep. In the meantime, if you ever need to shop, talk to me. I can order items from FedUps. FedUps. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm proud of you for winning the election. I'm sure you'll be a great fight president. P.S. I told all the guys who worked to vote for you. But uh, yeah, we can use these talents and there's plenty of characters still to unlock. I forget what those... Okay, the stars are levels, I believe. I forget what the house symbol is, though. And let's see. Advice, charge, order your parent to attack. Ability types. Okay, basically tutorials. Oh, yeah. Let's go down the safety. And yeah, there you <laughs> Le Level 24. I quite a bit in further than this. Yeah, do you only played six hours, apparently. Yeah. The, um, if you feel burned out from it after six hours, that's not a good sign for the game. Uh, I forget how long those, uh, in what length of sessions that was, though. Could have been, a, I very much doubt it was a single session, but probably two or three or something. <laughs> anyway. It, moving on to the next game, and actually the, the last one that I have ready at the moment. Which is Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. Uh, oh dear! I, actually, I thought I had a different game in, installing as well. Let me double check. Okay, why is there no... Okay, we'll have one... We have one more af for after this. I just don't know why I didn't get a desktop icon. Uh, let's see, can I... Yeah, add shortcuts. There we go. Okay, we'll start that after this, because uh, I can pretty much say th this is a nice game, but it's I don't think we'll en we'd enjoy it much for streaming. It does have but a story mode. 
Yeah, the, it has a story mode which is a preference for us to want to stream a game. But this is one of the games where. Uh, how to say this? A lot of trial and error. Like, if we were to show this on YouTube, then it would be fine as videos, but for streaming. Uh, yeah, that could be a lot of. Uh, uh, stream episodes without any results. Yeah, it, it's not Dark Souls hard or anything, but I managed to finish the game, but I forget how long that's. Actually, let me look at the play time. It won't be fully accurate because I've also played some multiplayer after it. Uh, let's see. Grown. Uh, no. <laughs> I have 3.9 uh, hours. Okay, so that must mean I got through the story pretty f quickly then, after all. <laughs> but, yeah. Yes, it is a maybe then? Kayla, Gibson. Unbeknownst to the human, we are using their fighting pattern to make better robots. I think the human knows it now. Irrelevant. The human will die soon. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we just get thrown in. <laughs> Victory! Boom! Easy. And, yeah. <laughs> Our objective in each of these levels is basically survive and kill everything. upgrade is the best to tackle the next challenge. When you are surrounded by robots with swords, you need to not get hit by their attacks. Blocking or kicking is very effective against sword robots. We will see what the human chooses. Uh, yeah, we have a little upgrade system here. Let's see, fire swords. Uh, jetpack, extra life, kick, we'll take that. That is useful, like it said, which gives us, well, a, a kick on the alt, on the right mouse button. Um, I don't know how quickly it'll tell, but basically, uh, yeah, a bunch of human colonists got a... Uh, Careful. We can die pretty easily if we're... There we go. If we're Victory. distracted. I love the smell of energy swords in the morning. Come in, Catron. You did not tell me you had a nose installed. What? Uh, yeah. Coming up, Archer, stand in a circle and shoot arrows at the human. Time for this human to die. Indeed. Basically, uh, a. Uh, <clears throat> Humanity managed to cross into the stars, but uh, ran across a bunch of robots who, well, uploaded their brains into robot net form, uh, into robot shells, to fight for their enjoyment. Let's see. Yeah, and they occasionally clone them as well. Let's see, block projectiles. It will work here since well, we'll be dealing with projectiles. Uh, blocking happens automatically, if I recall correctly. It has been a bit since I played this game, but not extremely long. Yeah, I th also, and I, obviously, you do not want to get hit by those saws. <laughs> yeah, I actually seen a Captain Sauce do a full play through this. So I have seen the story, but also mm. know through him that a lot can happen. I keep pressing E instead of. <laughs> the kick button and oh he actually dodged that okay you dodged that then nope okay. as is very obvious as is very obvious as well this is a voxel game and you can dismantle your enemies but you can also be dismantled yourself do not turn your back on the archers it only takes one arrow to kill you. Good advice for the human. Yeah, one unlucky hit can be the end of it. Yeah, hence why I'm against us streaming it. Like, if you wanted to make a YouTube video series, we could do that. Yeah. But not for streaming. <laughs> uh... For the whole... Just uh, like just one arrow is enough at uh, sometimes is enough to infuriate it happens too many times. 
Yep. <laughs> I think that Archer got more kills than I did. But yeah. Uh, the way you swing your sword, if you're just moving forwards or standing still, you'll do, just do swipe, well, swipes like this. If you move from side to side, you start doing that. So the combat is pretty simple. But it can be a bit... Where the fuck did they go? Oh, there you are. Simple... Oh, straight down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, Hillian. The simple does not have to mean bad. Yeah. Who is it? You're about to find out. The challenge is the levels themselves and the amount of opponents. Like you have simple controls, but you need to learn to use them well and be very aware of your surrounding and the enemies. Big boy. We have captured the few humans bold enough to venture into our space. But it is not enough. Billions of their minds remain, waiting to be harvested. Soon, soon our fleet will arrive at the closest human outpost. While we wait, let us watch our latest combat robot in action. I give you Spider-Tron 5000. Uh, yeah, now we get more than just these humanoid ears bots. Yep. What the? What knocked me over there? Hang on and oh, try to the kick you. From the spider. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes more sense then. Yeah. These can get pretty annoying since, well, they do that, but they also come back down Victory. like an idiot. Spider Tron 5000 was defeated. Yes, machine. Also, yeah, those two will be continuously chatting. Yeah, they, they look like us. a reference to two commentators. Unless the human chooses the bow, it will find itself with more targets than arrows. Yeah, you have infinite arrows, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, let's get some energy. It probably would be a good idea to get some extra lives. Yeah. yeah oh let's dear. do this a little more and then move on to the last game that I had prepared. Oh, it's a red rust. Yeah. Another thing. There, there will be stronger variants of these uh, these robots. These will make it harder. That was stronger and smarter. That is not terrible at fighting robots. <laughs> so thinking the game will be easy as the beginning? Oh no, it will escalate fast. Uh, let's see, I forget if you can swap between the bow and the, or not. I don't uh, think... Uh, uh, well, you can swap with them in combat, I think? Let's just do a quick try. Oh yeah, we can switch, okay. Yeah, let's go to round 10 or something and see if some, anything happens. Okay, I think we took some damage there from one of their arrows. Yep. And that took our com <laughs> that took our head off completely. <laughs> yeah, this is an example of why we will not be streaming this, but this can happen so easily. I'm Gallic Chunk. Like, and, it, yeah, if you yes. die, you just start with something, someone new at the start. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you restart from the beginning, don't you? Yep. Yeah, that's also another issue. Victory. But, uh, yeah. Let's exit the desktop. It, it is a fun game, but not really much of a stream game yeah since like you unlock each for to be able to unlock each chapter you need to finish it with one character yeah you can buy those extra lives still to make it easier yeah but they are limited and i yeah. actually forget how long it took but yeah it it would could 
With luck, it could probably be finished in like one stream or something. But yeah. The odds are heavily against it. <clears throat> okay, moving on to the last of the backup games. I think this is the first that we've run through every game I had prepared for this. Uh, I think I've done it before. Due to they were. The other games were so short to show off the, to begin with. Yeah, also, let me set that so it actually gets captured. There we go. Auto save feature, standard stuff. The... Why is it not shown to me? What? Is it again not. Oh, come the fuck on. Okay, let me see if I can fix that by going into Greece, da, da, da. Uh, Europe, brightness settings, uh, only left is visible. There. I'm recognizing the music. Come on. Okay, finally through all of that stuff. Uh, graphics, windowed, and lower that to 1080. Okay. Now I can see. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is Code Vein, which is, from what I, from what I know, it is a Dark Souls-like game, but again, not as hard as Dark Souls. And okay. I know at least one of my friends liked it somewhat. But that's why I recognize the music. I may have heard it from the trailers. Okay, timer starts. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Okay, code name. Uh, oh, I think <laughs> I maybe recognize this a bit now. I think I've seen a little bit of this. Let's see, is there a randomizer for this? Ah, uh, screw it. Go with the standard yeah, yeah. stuff. That's what you look like. Now, we can finally meet. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature. A revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Let's see. For the field menu... Okay, yeah, no, not a menu that pauses. Uh, let's see. Uh, depending on the reference stats will differ. To view these stats, select the currently equipped blood codes. Uh, and that's just where? Let's see, is that it? Regeneration. Naturally regenerating HP. Rest near missile to res... <clears throat> okay, so that's heals. Let's not. Uh, let's skip the tutorial and get to actual story. So I hope this isn't too soft. Uh, her voice is very soft. The voice is overpowering it a little bit. Yeah, no, maybe not overpowering, just her own voice is way too low. Let's see if it's the same here. Hello. Welcome back. 
Okay, that's a bit louder. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. That's a uh, an outfit. Over there. Yeah, I remember many people were having their opinions on it. Some YouTubers playing this, and it's not a game I would play, I think, but it's dry, I, isn't it? I could see us maybe streaming this with a split your story. We can go slowly. Hmm. I am here with you. I don't know how difficult the game gets later on, but it would be worth a try at the very least. Just okay, so you're not finished it. Nope. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. Hmm, there was a bit mi subtitle there that went missing. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. Oh yeah, best description I've heard of this game is Dark Souls with Japanese vampires. A fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Also, those are a bit oversized. <laughs>
then... Whoa, keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. Uh, I think it's Ramos of Ink. I think that this area yeah, is quite long before you get into actual combat. Yep. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Okay, that wasn't well balanced with the audio. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More. Nope. So. Interrupted them. According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, it's a slave pen. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood and you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real-life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. Okay, and that explains <laughs> that explains how you respawn over and over again in this game when you get your ass kicked. Yeah. The air in this place is something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the lost. If we revenants don't drink human blood, we join the lost. But humans are scarce after the great collapse and all. The folks like us don't get blood, but there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Not everyone wakes up right away. Some are still asleep. We lose our memories and need human blood to survive. Revenants are imperfect, both as weapons and as creatures. But we were needed to fight against the horrors. The Queen was our hope for solving such problems, but... Well, bringing back the dead is already stepping outside the realm of humanity. In the end, she went into a frenzy. And there was a great war involving all revenants. Okay. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. Okay, so not missile toe. Let's see. Anyone else have There's something no to chat There's no way we're here? gonna find blood beads. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Wandering, they say the folks up there. They might live in safety, but because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you. See, what are you drink? Are they, are they drinking from themselves? From themselves? With... Yeah, he is. Ugh. The view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Uh, yeah. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. 
Yeah, that's quite a mist. Oh dear. So let's get out of here. Let's see, I'm planting an enemy. Damn it, here, there goes this my audio again. Dry. And my asthma's pretty thick. I hope this doesn't interrupt the audio. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Turn that off and on. Everything's ready. Hey. All dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... Ah! You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Well, at least they're not planning to do anything else with her. Hopefully. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Okay, and so we get into some actual gameplay. E12, Ruined City Underground. Resting at missile. Your HP and regeneration use are restored along with your Icor. However, your Icor stock limit will return well, to normal if it has been increased by gifts. You can, all, you can also acquire gifts containing your blood code by selecting acquire slash inherit gifts and increase your gift proficiency using items. Last, we will fear that we are that defeated enemies will revive after you rest near missile. Yeah. I don't know much about the blood code stuff. Uh, then again, we skip the I've tutorial mostly. Before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. The enemy? Basic combat. I probably should have gotten a bit closer before that. And yeah, white bar is our stamina for attacking, <laughs> and very obviously has has a much stronger weapon than us at the moment. Ooh. Oh dear. Okay, we don't have any gifts at the moment to use. We got about ten minutes or so remaining. Uh, seven and a half. Adrenaline, restorative offering, and triple annihilate. Can we see more about these? Let's see. Sure. Unleash a combo on a nearby see. target, an offensive skill performed with two handed sword slash hammer, which we don't have. Temporarily boost attack power. Spend your own HP to restore the HP of companions. Okay, if, recall, if I recall correctly, at this, in the tutorial, we were supposed to be able to choose a class or something. So there's a good reason to not skip it. And yeah, those are our health flasks. Yeah, 
From what I recall, I think this could be a good thing to stream, but probably good to investigate how long it is. Is there something good in And uh, you have to use whatever you can to survive. Yeah, just learn how to play the damn game as well. Really pipe of thrall them. Let's see. Yeah. The only thing that that thing is better at is that it's quicker. Which way do you think is better? Each piece of equipment has stats requirements and weight. Exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirements greatly decreases your attack power. Okay. We have... Okay, apparently we had that the entire time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what's over here this way. You lose any haze in your possession when you die. This lost haze can be reclaimed by returning to the location where you died. Only the haze you possess at the moment of your death. If you die again before collecting it, the uncollected haze will be lost forever. Yep. Same as Dark Souls. Yeah, and that's for four weeks. Yeah, upgrading. <laughs> Sorry about that. That one uh, does sound like it could be a very punishing thing. What's that yeah. There? So, I don't know if it's focus states. Your focus gauge fills as you hit or dodge enemy attacks. So, how do we dodge? Like, we have heavy attack, light attack, heavy attack, and how do we dodge then? Let's see, is there settings, control, uh, dodge, space? Okay, makes sense. There we go. <laughs> the standard combat roll. Oh, yours a bit bigger. I tried to use one of those gifts there, but I got interrupted. And I rolled back, back into that. Okay, master the gift adrenaline, master triple annihilator, okay. Up there, lost shards. Uh, yeah, I think one, I think one big uh, tip for dark, for Souls-like games is to save up items that will give you your resources and just uh, use them when you want to go for a big upgrade. In Souls. Yeah, otherwise you may risk losing them. Okay, I thought there would be something along this way. Queen Iron. Yeah, for I think I've seen some people in some other. So light game do that. This is actually a rather smart sense. Again, if you take it, you may lose it. So yep. many actually did some more thorough more in math, I mean, to make sure they don't use it too early. Let's see, lost bayonets. A bayonet used by revenants who have fallen and joined the lost. See how is this then? Do you have enough healing Damn to it! Go on? I wanted to swap weapons, not do that. What was the? There we go. And now we have only one heal left, <laughs> so either we'll have to go back to the missile, or Fine, but really. yeah, risk it as is. That wasn't very convincing, was it? Masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. And a pickup. Geisha noodles, okay. Asia noodles. Yeah. Well, he's using a shield, Hillian. Yeah, we're out of ammo or something? Okay, I don't see a counter or anything for that. Oh, hello. Get rid of you. And 
And I think it applied some sort of debuff there at the bottom. Another pickup. You have to use whatever you can to survive. Awake MJ018. The heck is that? Okay, that's a passive power. We already have those three. We have no different items. Let's see. Bloodstained steak. Used to cause your, your body to disperse, not consumed upon use, but all haste is lost. Okay, so that's a slash kill. Needle of Unity transports you to a location near the Revenant you are corrupt. Okay, that's multiplayer. And okay, nice that it tells you how much you gain from it. I don't know if every Souls like game does that. Most do that, but I'm sure they did that originally. Okay. During the exploration, when you purify the miasma in the area, you will be able to map your surroundings. You can purify miasma by activating a missile, purify a water missile, defeat the lost that infected with yeah you know, that that's infect okay, some <coughs> some uh grammar issues. That isn't too on uh, that isn't too odd with Japanese games and such. Yeah, do many do rather quite good grammar, but sometimes it slips in. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, do I think that's a more of a thing that's been improved over the years? Like, what do you think many early ones, they slip up uh, a bit more common. Yeah, or just cases of complete English. In like, uh, all your base are belong to us and such. New armor. Let's see. Okay, it is stronger in some places, but not so much in others. Looks pretty and nice. The... Hi, my hood. <laughs> it's almost the same as his. Uh, oh dear. Gives gifts and drain attacks power differ depending on the blood veil you equip. Blood veils also affect stat scaling and drain rating. For example, using blazing war with the blood veil of possessing high dark gift efficiency will increase the attack's power. Okay, yeah, I think it's throwing a bit too much at us here. So I, <laughs> I don't really get everything. But the, <clears throat> the half, the, the 25 minute counter went off. So shall we keep going a bit more or call it here? I call it here for, I feel like, I feel like a, this is one of the games where something Sunday is too short for. If that makes sense. Yeah. And wait, we can change. Can we buy? Do we need to buy these or? Okay. Yeah, we need to buy these uh, abilities. Okay. So you you aren't locked in at one specific thing. You can swap them out a lot more. And also, this looks very much like a, a Psycho Mantis. <laughs> Okay, save and return to title. I, I am curious about this game, but I am, yeah, I'll, I'll need a, I'll need a good guide to get a, even a basic impression of how to actually do stuff. Yeah, like I, I'm leaning a maybe. I like the idea of streaming this, but mm. we don't know how long it is or how hard it can get. Yeah, it can probably get pretty tough since it is a Souls-like. It, they're probably not as hard as Dark Souls itself, still. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I, I, Definitely. I can say I'm not really too satisfied with how things went today, though, with so many failures. And I think I'd, I'll have to look into what the hell was up with that. Yeah, like, the two first games, I can understand for they're old. But the, but the other ones that were not old, they should have worked. Uh, Call of Hero is, uh, Gunslinger isn't that old. L let me take a quick little peek. Also, let's go over here. Uh, yeah, it's it's only 10 years old. And we've had games that are almost... <laughs> that are 20 years old that have worked perfectly. So, yeah, I'll have to look... Hmm. Yeah, yeah I'll that, have to look into things. Yeah, that's also an investigation you need. Like, again, like, the uh, older games from a CD... I may guess, I understand, like, a Commandos 2, that makes sense, a game's that older, they might be 
some issues, but yeah. Yeah. The, the weird thing is that that weird the the wide screen is only supposed to happen when there is something full screen with OBS. M maybe the fact that I forgot to put uh, forgot to close the browser behind it had something to do with it at first, but it was still the same after I closed it. So there is definitely something going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll need I'll need to run some tests to see if that if I can get gunslinger to work because it, it is a really fun game um let's see bugs bunny yeah it it should have worked it, it it's using the exact same method as commandos so it should have worked but mm, oh well if i can get that to work i still want to try and stream that and its sequel uh, which is uh bugs bunny and Taz time busters which is both that and Lost in Time are games that I played while I was young. So, yeah, I do want to stream those as well. Oh, dear. Uh, Lords of Shadow will need to figure out a way to eat, to start a new game or delete the save data. Cats yeah. in Time? Yeah, I, yeah that going, I'm going to need to find some way to get over that widescreen thing with Discord. Yeah, th that one should work if that one is only one year old, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll need to look be deeper into what is causing that white screen and or black, half black, half gray, uh, or white screen stuff. That I, I think it's just on OB, yeah, not OB, on Discord side because they screwed things up before. Yeah, but it's still weird. It says. Why still show me the rest of OBS with moving yeah. voice for when I speak, but not the game itself? That's the weird part. So you screen share me, you, you, it should show me everything you share. Yeah. So why will it do that? It, it, it shouldn't be possible in some way. Yeah, for a bit of context, we probably should have said earlier, when I screen share, uh, it's it's only the game footage that is white or just missing for some reason. Yeah, like had it used the entire screen been white, then okay, it is definitely some interference with OBS or something with Discord there. But it's only the game footage, not the voice beater or the option bars on the other side. Only the game footage. Actually. Let me try Which shouldn't one happen uh, for some reason for me. But from what I saw the screen share is, that should not happen. I think one way to try and get around this is by just screen sharing the game itself instead. I can see now. Yeah, that since it's just a game. Actually, let's go back for a moment. Uh, change windows. Yeah, when I when I yeah, when I. <clears throat> when I see OBS now in the screen share options, it's doing that half black, half white again. But I could just uh, screen share the game itself in cases like this. Yeah, unless uh, it shows that black white thing on the recording. Uh, it shouldn't, because what I see is what is going to the stream, or should be going to the stream. Okay. Do a quick little thing. Actually, hold on a second. Change windows. It's show. It's showing the black. Actually, is it just the the window for the gameplay that is black and white, or is it just the entirety of what should be going to the stream that is black and white? Uh, just the stream itself, like uh, you and me disappear. Okay. Along it, it, with so the it, thing, it, like now it's doing that. Thing again. Hmm. Oh, I see the voice meter. I see the many options. I don't see the gameplay at all. Okay. Nor do I see you and me. Hmm. So I don't see the whole stream thing at all. Or the OBS. I'll, I'll need to investigate this, but at the very least, we could do games like that by just screen sharing the game instead of the OBS. Yeah, if needed to do, do. then I thought, then I cannot help with the chat, hmm. but it's not for the world. Yeah, yeah, you it should give still give you the game sound and well, you're already getting my sound 
over everything, but you would not hear anything from uh, the stream, so no uh, raid noises and such. Yeah, and it, it would be hard for me to identify if there are some voice problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely to, need to look into that more. If I can find a solution, we can run you know, Gunslinger and Cats in Time again to see if them uh, if they are for streaming. If I can get it to work, Gunslinger is definitely a yes, though. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, for now, let's go back here and go look for someone to raid. Hopefully uh, someone who is having a better time. Yeah, screen share, please. Yeah, I just need to open up the browser there. Okay, there you go. make sure it is muted so we don't okay. go to anyone's audio. Uh, let's see. Sour Walrus is online streaming Stilts, fella. Can't say I heard of that game. It's, it's... Okay, it's, a, it's, some sort of <laughs> it's some sort of physics game. Then we have Redacted Cat, who is streaming Amid Evil, which is a game we've shown off a bit. It's an old... Uh, it's like the... Uh, it's a modern game made like the old uh, 90s shooters and such. Uh, like uh, Hex and, and Heretic. Yep. Uh, then we have Karenai, who is streaming Fire Emblem and Gates. And again, there is no way people can convince me that that is not somehow <laughs> a Fire Emblem dating simulator. Uh, then we have Horatius the Dwarf. I think I might have misnamed them before. Uh, they are streaming Hunt Showdown. Kiri Natsuyoko is again streaming Monster Hunter Frontier G. And K9 is streaming V Rising, which is a vampire game. <laughs> <clears throat> Any of those kind of interest? Mm. Or shall we look for someone else? I guess V Rising. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I played that game for a while myself. I was even on a server with some other people, but uh, yeah, in time, it just <laughs> uh, people just started playing less and it just drained out over time. Kind of curious if they might have upgraded things a bit because I don't remember the wolf form looking like a fox with multiple tails. Might be a skin thing. Actually. Uh, to our own place, then we go slash raid and paste. But before we do that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Cookie, for <laughs> thank you, Cookie, for chatting along a bit, and I hope you're you're have making good progress with your homework. And thank you, of course, as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And let me double check. I think I wrote down a schedule of when I need to work next. It is the 22nd. Okay, we could do an evening stream because I have an, a late shift tomorrow, not an early shift like I thought it, I had. Uh, I, I'm up but, for that. Well, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll hang a big maybe on that because din, uh, bi weekly dinner at the aunt and uncle's is today. A uh, bit of context. Uh, my family and my aunt and uncle who live nearby, like, less a lot less less than a kilometer or so uh every other week we eat well every sunday uh, we eat at either uh, we have dinner together either at our place or at theirs and it alternates and it's at their turn today uh, it shouldn't take too long but it might be late enough to well get in the way of streaming should that as well hang a maybe on another stream for today plus we've yeah. already done so many yeah, do it. You usually return in time, like true. Nine, ninety to eight percent of the time you return in time. True, but there's always that chance. Yeah. So what so, we might stream, we'll have to see, though. Yeah, it, hmm. either Minecraft or maybe more Valheim. Uh, I think we've done enough Valheim. Uh, we'll just have to see. Maybe some Jurassic World Evolution 2? I'll be up for that. Okay, that'll be like the third side game that we've got running then. <laughs> but either way, we'll see about that, well, later tonight, if it'll happen or not. For now, let's start up that raid. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for monsters. And uh, pseudo-vampires.
We have nothing to shoot. They're just full-out <laughs> vampires. Well, they're revenants, so 